start with this first one, 763. We don't read it as 763. You should realize that 763 belongs in the ones family, or the ones period. When we read that, we read the 7 as the hundreds, and then clump these other two numbers together as 63. So this number is read as 763. Now look at this number here. Notice I still have the 763, but then there is a comma, and then it's followed by 037. If I line it up in our place value chart again, I can see that the 763 is now in the thousands period, the 037 is in the ones period. This is a lot of numbers to deal with at one time. So what I always do is you start with the period furthest to the left, and you can ignore everything else to the right. We know how to read 763. We realize that it is 763. This comma tells you to say the family name or the period name, which is thousands. So, so far we have 763,000. Now we can deal with the ones. In 037, that's just a 37. There's no other comma, so we know that we just read this as 37. Altogether, we have that as 763,037. Even really big numbers like this can be read following the same procedure. Notice here I have the millions period, the thousands period, and the ones period. You always start what's furthest to the left, the biggest period that you have. I can ignore everything else. Again, I have my 763, and it's in the millions period, so when I get to that comma, I'm going to say millions because it's in the millions period. This would be read as 763 million. Now you look at the next period. We have the 037, which is just read as 37 since there's no 100. This comma, which is in the thousands period, would say thousand. And then this last section, 201, is read as 201. There's no comma afterwards, so we don't have anything else to say. All together, when you put it together, you would get 763,037,201. Take it in chunks of three. Even if your number doesn't necessarily have all three place values, you still start all the way over to the left. So for example, let's say we have this number. I would still go all the way over to the left. Notice there's nothing in the hundreds, so I would just read this as 63,037,201. Take it step by step and you'll be able to read that big number, starting all the way over to the left, taking each period at a time, and on the comma, saying the period's name. Go ahead and move on to your next activity in the center.